What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're doing another Daily Dash. We're going to be answering a question I just got on YouTube, but first I have a question for you guys. I bought this really expensive truck and the biggest thing I hate about it is that there's so much chrome on it. Does anyone like chrome on their vehicle or, whoop, shouldn't it just be all black? Like, ah, my last truck was all black and everything and it looks so sick. And then this one the, was the only one that had self-driving and they, uh, there's just so much chrome all over it. I'm like, who likes that? Should just be all black. Black truck, I don't know. It's my opinion, but let me know. Do you guys like the chrome? Does anyone like the chrome or should just be all black? It should be all black, right? All right, hang on one sec. All right, got a new battery in. Okay, I have another question. So two questions. Do you guys like the chrome on the truck or should it just be all black? And the second question, do you guys like the Daily Dash or do you like when I'm doing in-studio stuff? I feel like when I'm in-studio, AKA my living room that I just set up. Uh, I could just like think a little bit more clearly, but the problem is the daily dash, I do it because it's so convenient so I can get in, like for me, I'm trying to run three businesses and doing a video on the way to the gym. It's just so convenient and it kind of matches my uh, goal of last year was to just make my life as efficient as possible. And this is just as efficient. So in studio, or in the car and doing the daily dash? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, today I'm responding to a comment because I've been making a lot of videos on credit and stuff, which I've been kind of nerding out about for the last couple years. So it's uh, something I enjoy, but someone asked, what do I do if I have bad credit and I don't have any job other than my W-2? Well. I got an idea for you, and this is what I think everyone should do. I per Okay, if you have bad credit, it's gonna be hard to get a loan, no matter what. But, and you're gonna get probably a bad deal on the APR and stuff. But I think you gotta start somewhere, you know? If you're in, out, like if you're fat and out of shape, you gotta start from somewhere. Just because you're starting behind, you know? That's why I always say be consistent and my, one of my favorite sayings is it's easier to be rich than it is to be poor because once you have things working for you, life is just, I can maintain and just work four hours a day and my life will be great because I will do it every single day. But if you work eight hours and then you take two days off and then you work eight hours and you take two days off, overall the volume is less. So if you're starting from nothing, what I would do, especially if you uh, want to learn a new skill or something, I always say invest into yourself. So you should get a personal loan or a credit card or something. You will qualify for something unless you're like a freaking 300 credit score or something. You'll qualify for something. And if you can qualify for something, which I'm sure you will, you know, you can always probably get like a thousand dollar credit or something along those lines. What you should do is you should take that money, let's say, let's say, okay, here's an example thousand dollar personal loan and go and get a eight hundred dollar personal training course i always said my personal training courses that i took back in uh, i took one when i was 19 it was called the nasm nasm uh there was three different courses that i took i took all three nasms when i was basically 19 through 23 and i was a personal trainer although i didn't make any money investing that <coughs> initial eight hundred dollars and then it was like another 800 or so for the next two was the best investment that I ever made. Because even though I didn't make a lot of money off of those things, I sure enough paid it off. You know, I made an extra 10 grand at least off of personal training. But what the best part about it was, was that I actually learned skills and knowledge about my health that I was able to basically use for the rest of my life. And here I am like 16, 17 years later, still a pro athlete and all that knowledge still goes into my life on a daily basis basically. So what I would do is I would certainly take out a personal loan so that way you can start somewhere. If you have no credit or anything, you can get out something, right? And then invest it into a skill or something that is gonna make you money. If you don't have a lot of skills, it's gonna be hard to invest into like a business or anything. Cause for example, if you start a clothing line and you don't know how to get your clothes into stores, how to print them yourselves, how to market them, how to 
video and run social media ads and stuff and like there's so many skills into going into business it's very hard to start right there which is why you probably shouldn't start a business just out of nowhere but what you should do is start investing into skills so last year I invested into welding that was one of the skills that I wanted to learn because it was one of the biggest like blocks in my business I would always need to make things but I didn't have the skill set to weld them together so I would either make them out of wood or I'd have to like hire someone else to go and do it so last year my skill set at the beginning of the year that I wanted to invest into was welding it cost me around it's probably like sixteen hundred dollars ish in total for all of the equipment that I bought and now I am a very skilled welder and I can weld aluminum I can weld uh, steel I can literally weld like anything at this point and I've only been doing it for around a year but let's say that my business goes to shit I now have another skill set that I can go and if I wanted to be a welder I could easily go and be a welder and it just having the confidence in myself to learn and like being dedicated to learning like there was literally like it was just one month where I dedicated all of my time into learning how to weld and most welders actually don't even know how to weld aluminum and I am very good at welding aluminum because that's all I wanted to weld was aluminum stuff because it keeps your equipment lighter so just learning like if you just dedicate a month you don't have to go to school for everything you know especially there's a lot of business owners out there like me that would rather hire someone who has like proven track record of working and like doing their own skill set like I'm pretty sure social media you can go to like social media classes for and like get a degree in like marketing and stuff I would rather hire one of my athletes which I've already done this hire one of my athletes to run my social media who has a proven track record of running their own social media and doing it well who doesn't have an education in it then hire some random person that I don't know who has like a marketing degree or something because most of that stuff is bullshit anyways and college is so far behind like technology it advances too quickly for colleges to keep up so in my opinion what you should do is go out and get get a personal loan you can either go to a credit union you can go to whatever if you ha like let's say you have Wells Fargo I'm right next to Wells Fargo right now that's what I have you can go out and get a Wells Fargo credit card it'll probably be easier to go through your bank to be honest than it is going to be to open up another account at least get something going they'll give you like a $500 or $800 like credit limit or something depending on your income and just like a probably I shouldn't say this but like they don't check your income really you know like you could literally tell them what you make especially if you're an entrepreneur or something you can tell them what you make you can make it up basically and they will literally like go off of assuming you don't have like a freaking super fucked up credit or something you know like they usually just go off of what you tell them um, unless you have really bad credit but just saying like from my experience I've applied for a lot of stuff they always ask me what my income is and I tell them and they don't bat an eye at it they're not like going through like they're like oh we need to see some 1099s for that and just saying it's pretty easy to go get get a loan um, just invest into something I feel like everyone needs to be advancing on some front if you're not advancing and building more skills then you are actually falling behind you're not staying stagnant because you're getting older and the older you get the harder it is going to be to get hired yada yada try to always learn something new like whether it's for me it was welding last year and then the year before that, I wanted to learn, I can't remember what I want to learn, but every year since, this, since I was like 19, I've always tried to learn at least a new skill. So that way, in the future, I'm better at it, you know? Better at everything overall. And for me, being a CEO, you know, having like a wide variety of different skill sets, at least if I'm not doing everything, it's better for me to hire someone. So for example, if I was to go hire someone, I can know if they're bullshitting me and giving me this crazy price. That's why like girls get ripped off when they go into a, into a mechanic or something because they don't have any idea what they're talking about. But if you have a fundamental understanding of a little bit of everything, 
you're always going to get a better deal on just about everything and you're not going to get ripped off in my opinion so for uh the person that asked i forgot what their name was i'm sorry hopefully you can take some advice from this video and go get a personal loan invest into a skill you can even just invest into books or something like that. Like if you haven't started reading books, I would invest into like books like Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Atomic Habits. I could go on for days. I've probably read like a hundred books in the last couple of years. There's so many good books out there and you will learn skill sets from those. Like How to Win Friends, Friends and Influence People is such a good book on speaking to people and negotiating things and just making people want to be friends with you. How to win friends and influence people. How to also, there's another book called Influence that's a really good book on how to influence people to get, how to get them to do what you want to do. Anyways, that being said, thank you guys for watching today's uh, daily dash on the way to the gym. Uh, again, comment down below, what do you guys like, the daily dash stuff or do you like the in-studio stuff? Personally, I kind of like the Daily Dash, in my opinion, because it's a lot less work for me. I don't have to set up all the lights and everything every day. But that's just my opinion. I like to be lazy and film a vlog and kind of just give you guys my thoughts on certain topics. Also, if you guys have any other questions, I will, if it's a good question, I will definitely make a video on it because I'm always looking for more topics to make videos on. That's the hardest part about running a YouTube channel is constantly coming up with new ideas that are something people would want to click on. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to support me, you guys can uh, click on my credit card link down below for my American Express referral link. You can sign up and get yourself a credit card down there. And if you guys want to support my footwear company, I also design and make my own shoes. You guys can check out offaxisathletics.com. Use the discount code TANNER for 30% off. Or you guys can refer us to a new big stunt show that we could book, such as a fair, theme park, or event that might want a high-energy, circus-style, extreme sports show. We pay 10% on commission on total price, so if someone books a $10,000 show, you get 1000 bucks. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.